this episode, we're going to talk about logical comparison, which happens all throughout the SAT writing section on all question types. And there are four rules that go into logical comparison. First, you need to compare equivalent concepts. Second, use the comparative and superlative forms properly. Third, don't compare something to a group it's part of without also including the words other or else. And lastly, be clear what you're comparing with what else you're comparing. Let's look at those four rules in more detail. So the first rule in logical comparison and the most important rule for the SAT is that comparisons must be apples to apples, meaning that you have to compare things that are of the same type. And we'll look at some examples in a minute so you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, if the comparisons aren't already apples to apples, you have to look for an answer choice that fixes the problem in three ways. You can either repeat the apples, which we'll see in the example. You can use apostrophe s, the word that, or the word those. Or lastly, you can rework the sentence so that it is a comparison that makes sense in the first place. Let's look at the examples. So the first sentence is flawed. It does not use comparisons logically. Let me show you why. Her prom dress was as glamorous as a movie star on the red carpet. First off, we know we're doing a comparison because of the phrase, as glamorous as. And then let's look at what we're comparing. On the one hand, we have her prom dress, that's a dress. And on the other hand, we have a movie star. So you probably don't actually want to compare your dress to a person. You either want to compare people to people or dresses to dresses. So the original sentence is flawed for this reason. Let's look at the three ways to fix it. The three ways we just talked about. Method one, right here, is to compare apples to apples by repeating the apples. Her prom dress, that's our first apple, was as glamorous as the dress of a movie star. So now we're comparing two dresses and that solves the problem. The second way I mentioned that we can fix the sentence is by using an apostrophe S word, the word that, or the word those. That's the next example. Her prom dress was as glamorous as that of a movie star. So that of a movie star, represents the dress of a movie star, and we have her prom dress over here. Yet again, we fix the problem. And the third method is demonstrated at the bottom. That's to rework the sentence entirely. Here we have, in her prom dress, she was as glamorous as a movie star. And now we're comparing a person to a movie star, two kinds of people, that's apples to apples, and that fixes the problem. Let's look at another example. Again, the first sentence is wrong, and the three other sentences are going to exemplify the three methods of fixing logical comparison errors. Here goes. Compared to last week, this week's weather is far more mild. So we know we're dealing with comparison because of the phrase compared to, and here's what we're comparing. On the one hand, we have last week, which is a period of time, and on the other hand, we have this week's weather, which is not a period of time, it's a kind of weather. And it's not apples to apples, so three methods. First up, we can make it apples to apples by repeating the apples. Compared to last week's weather, this week's weather is far more mild. Because I've repeated the apples, the comparison now works. Second example, the apostrophe s, that, or those method. In this case, we're going to use the apostrophe s method. Compared to last week's, and that stands for last week's weather, 